Hello Scrappy Peeps, Susanna here today for a Cherry on Chop to share with you this multi-photo skating layout that's got a little bit of mixed media, some hot foil, and some other fun stuff. So I have preheated my glimmer um, and I am getting some foil ready. So when you're using hot foil, you want to make sure that you put the shiny side down, the pretty side down. You want to heat your hot foil plates first. So you push a little button on this glimmer system and you wait for that flashing green light to turn solid and then your plate is warm enough as it is now. Um, I sped that up by the way. Um, and I typically am going to use some pixie tape to make sure that my foil is adhered to the cardstock so that it doesn't shift. And you also want to be very mindful of what cardstock it is that you're using. I use... Um, is it Nina? Nina um, uh, cardstock. So I want to put some mixed media. Um, I have that Simple Stories stencil and I want pink um, to go with the multicolor snowflakes that are in the Bella Boulevard, the North Pole paper that I'm going to use. And you can see that that is way too bright. Um, I want you to keep in mind that if you're going to do this, you're going to use white texture paste you just need a teeny tiny bit. I don't know if you saw in the beginning there, but I put way too much in. And so I go through way more texture paste um, than is necessary. A little bit goes a long way. Um, so I, I applied it through the stencil. I don't like it. It's too bright. And so I add even more white. Um, and then this is actually what you can't see from the containers. This is actually some Vicky Booten silver texture paste. I'm not sure that it's available anymore, um, but I thought that that would sort of add some gray and tone it down so that it was less electric. Um, I really wanted that light, light pink that's in there because I already have the really bright that is going to come from the foil. So those snowflakes that I foiled earlier, you could, you see, I just used the Lawn Fawn hot plate once, um, but I'm going to go ahead and do that again. In fact, multiple times, and then I'm going to fussy cut each of those snowflakes out. Um, and I'm going to do that in three colors. I have the hot pink, um, the aqua, and I'm also going to use a blue. It's almost a blue black. It's a really cool blue black. Um, again, colors that are in this multicolor paper that is the foundation of the color palette for the remainder of the layout. So we're just going to apply this several times, and then I'm going to use some Tim Holtz uh, mica flakes. So that's what they are there. I'm just literally going to sprinkle them on top before the transparent, uh, before the uh, texture paste dries. So now I have the remainder of the goodies for the rest of the layout on my desk. I am using some the same waffle flower. Um, I love my circle dies. These are stitched circle dies, um, and those are from Waffle Flower. So I'm using them, using it them for one of the photos. Um, and then the three other photos are three by fours. Then I'm going to use uh, the this paper from this. I love this North Pole collection from Bella Boulevard. It's fun, it's bright and cheerful, and it's not just your traditional winter blues. Um, I love that there's pink, yellow, green, all kinds of fun colors that are in there. So I'm going to use this dye. Um, so it's a background as well as three of the snowflakes that match the snowflakes that are in the pattern, um, actually of the Bella Boulevard as well. So it's called Snow Flurry's Backdrop. So I've cut out with my, uh, my metal clippers, the actual die, snowflake dies, and I'm using the background um, as well as my more of those waffle flower stitch circles in order to be able to get more circles to go um, sort of. What I'm trying to create is a, uh, a snowy scape, a snowscape per se. Um, so I want to just have snowflakes on repeat um, throughout the top of the page there. And I went primarily with the pink and the blue colors, the aqua, because those are the colors. Well, she's wearing aqua in her in the photos, but I liked the pink as a complementary color. And then obviously the dark blue, um, which is in the in the snow in this particular paper. So that is where I got my color palette from. Um, and, and so I chose those three foundation colors because they're the colors that are in the photo um, and then the colors that I had foil. So that ends up being the footer of the page where I'm going to put the three three by four photos. But I want to put a little bit more sort of flurry and 
gurry <laughs> at the top of the page there. So this is just a uh, mica distress stain and I've shaken it up so that I have all a nice blend of all of the, the glimmer and shimmer. Um, and then uh, just literally pulled the nozzle out and splatted some splats on the page. Um, and I'm absorbing it so that I don't get a really dark, um, as it dries, I do, it's not as dark. I get variations of hues to that. So that's the one photo that's going to go up the top there. But in order to not have that large circle just stand out by itself, I also have those die cut circles that you can see from the Bella Boulevard paper. Um, and so the idea is that I'll have these three photos down the bottom here. Um, and then the rest, the top will be embellished. Um, I really liked that snowflake paper that you can see that I pull off and I know that I want that for the contrast in the top of the page. Um, I just have to figure out how I'm going to get that integrated into the top of the page there. So these photos are from, I believe it's 2015, December of 2015. Um, my daughter was ice skating at the mall. It's just one of those little teeny tiny rinks we had driven probably I think it's 20 to 30 minutes, more like 30, 35 minutes um, to a mall that is not close to us to get some seized candies for my husband because he grew up in California. Um, and while we were there, she had seen an ice skate rink and um, wanted to go and uh, we'd driven all that way. She might as well. So that's the, um, these are photos of her skating. Um, so you can see I use the backdrop, what would be a card size frame as a backdrop um, for my photos there just uh, and most of it is hidden and covered but you still see it and it still sort of, it pulls the photos together and provides structure to them there are the uh, pattern paper circles from Bella Boulevard um, again it ties that circular photo into the top of the layout there and it sort of adds to the snow the snarling falling snowflakes that I'm trying to create at the top there um, as they come down and land into that multicolored uh, flurry of flakes. So you can see there's a lot of contrast in the photos. There's a lot of dark, but I need a little bit more dark contrast up the top. So off camera, um, I don't really realize that I don't have that contrast until I'm, I'm looking at it uh, and not filming. So off camera, I am going to use those same lawn fawn dyes with uh, just some navy cardstock. And I'm going to um, just use a few of those flakes. There's actually only two, but this is how I thought as I was creating and filming, I was going to get the contrast. So I'm just using a teeny tiny circle punch. Um, hold on, it's in front of me. Let me see if I can get it. It is a three eighths punch. Um, and so I'm just using that to cut out those snowflakes to try and provide that bigger contrast to the top. Um, but it's not enough. Um, it needs a little bit more, which is why I do what I do off camera. So I'm using my Zots to uh, get those adhered. I could use my dot roller or my liquid adhesive, but I like the Zots because it's a nice tight cling uh, to the page there, which is why, I, and it's easy, right? You literally stick the, you create a sticker basically out of it. Um, so from my stash, you can see these two uh, things that I have here. So these are thickers. These are glitter thickers. Um, so again, adding to that shimmer and shine that I've got up the top there. And I'm literally just going to go with skate um, for the title there. Doing a small Susanna title shuffle. Haven't done that in a while. I thought you were um, just deserving of having to see that again. <laughs> um, and then that space underneath is intended for journaling, just writing directly onto the layout. I am going to incorporate two LA Studio labels into this. Um, I wanted a little bit more pink down the bottom and that's how I'm going to incorporate the pink is with those LA Studio labels. One of the labels will house the location and the date um, and then the other is just there for decorative purposes. So all of these products are available over at a cherry on top. Um, this is a cherry on top sponsored layout except for the foil um, but you may be able to come by that soon maybe we'll see um, but I definitely recommend the thermo web foil too if that is something but you can absolutely use uh, the um, spellbinders foil or whoever else has hot foils um, that's just the one that I went with so enjoy the close-ups thanks for stopping in today if you have any questions about the 
process, please don't hesitate to leave them in the box down below. And thanks for stopping in today. Come back again soon. Take care.